So the first thing that we want to do is we want to go to Source Mogul, which is the software that I recommend for online arbitrage. Okay. So you'll see that if you sign up for Source Mogul, again, it's linked completely free if you want to try it down in the description. You can sort by category, you can sort by retailer, or you can even sort by wholesale supplier if you have the Excel spreadsheets for wholesale suppliers. We're going to be doing retail here. So we're going to go to buy retailer. And then you'll notice that once you sort through retailer, you'll notice all the different retailers that are available here in Source Mogul. And there's Ace Hardware, Musicians Friend, Fleet and Farm, Michaels, BJ's. Now I went through and I just grabbed three of the most popular ones just to kind of show you because they have a lot of products. So I already ran Barnes and Noble, Target and Walmart, but I have not checked them. So now once you actually click these and then you click search selected and you run them, it's very easy. You just click the buttons. You'll notice that in your search status, they'll show up in current searches, which I've already searched through all these. So they're not here, but once they're done searching, you'll see the little progress bar as they're comparing the products on, for example, Target's website to Amazon's catalog of products and finding the same products and differences in prices. So you can just go in seconds and see, okay, do I like this product? Do I want to buy this? Or is this product good? Or is this product not? Once they're done, you'll see them in completed searches, which is where you'll see the three that I just mentioned. So I just added these, as you can see an hour ago, haven't sourced through any of these. We have Walmart, we have Barnes and Noble, we have Target. Now, when you're drop shipping, you don't want to do retail suppliers like this, as I've covered in other drop shipping tutorials. When you're doing online arbitrage, you can, and so that's one of the biggest advantages of using something like this is you can use these websites and buy products lower on them and sell them higher on Amazon. And this software is going to show you all the products that that is the case for. So for example, let's go to Barnes and well, let's try Walmart really fast. It's going to show us that there's 442,000 products available on Walmart and they're expecting about 5,000, a little bit over to be profitable. So let's just view Walmart here. Now, the first thing you're going to want to do is you'll notice that it's starting to compare products here on the right from Walmart's catalog and the price to Amazon's catalog with like the, the keep a graph, the sales rank and all that good stuff. But we don't want to sort through 4,600 products, right? So we want to use these levers on the side to sort through and start actually honing down the products to the parameters that we like. So we're going to raise the ROI right here to about 12. We're going to raise the profit per sale to like $8. You want to start really specific and then slowly broaden out if you don't have a lot of search results. All right. So the sales rank here, we're going to go numbers. We're going to say the max sales rank is 150,000, which is a little bit high, but we'll just keep it there for now. Always put the match rate accuracy all the way to the left. You want it as high as possible. You can also go down here and sit, select like the number of sellers and set the minimum max. But for the sake of just keeping this simple, we're not going to do any of that. You don't really need to. All right. And you'll notice that now we only have 495 different products that are being compared. And it's going to take us a lot less time to go through these. And these are obviously better products because we know that they're potentially profitable. They have at least a 12% ROI. They're the same product ideally. And we're going to check all those things. And they have at least an $8 profit margin. So let's raise this a little bit more so we don't have to go through and check a bunch of them. We'll raise that. We'll raise that to like 16. We'll raise that to 10. We'll say the rank, the top rank is, we'll say 100,000 this time. And now it's 307. So now we want to go through and we want to check these products to see if they are indeed the same product first and foremost, and if they're profitable and we can sell it. And then obviously we want to make informed decisions about whether or not we want to buy them and how many, and then ship them into Amazon. So we're going to right click these, as you can see, ideally, this is the same thing. 3M privacy filter, 15 inch widescreen. That might be slightly different. Let's find one that's similar. So this right here, it's selling for 209. This one's selling on Amazon for 299. It's the Eufy security, Eufy camera. Cam 2C Pro 2 Cam Kit. This looks like it's the same thing. So let's check them out. This is actually on sale right now on Walmart. So it usually sells at 280 right here. And we're also going to use Rakuten if we buy this to get 3% cash back as a bonus. So this is the same product. It's 180 day battery life, IP67, 2K resolution, 2K resolution, 180 day battery life, and 2K resolution. So this looks like it's the same exact product. Yep. And so if we were to buy this, right, we know that it's cheaper on Walmart right now, but is it profitable if we were to buy it, ship it into Amazon and sell it on Amazon minus the Amazon fees, right? So before any of this, before we even check to see if it's profitable, you want to copy the ASIN. If you have Jungle Scout, it'll be right here for you to do it really fast. If you don't have Jungle Scout, get Jungle Scout. But if you decide not to get Jungle Scout, then you want to scroll down till you see the ASIN in the, the product details right here. So there it is right there. Copy the ASIN, you take it into Seller Central and add product to see if you're able to sell it. So we're going to add product. It looks like we are not able to sell this. So this isn't a good product, right? And that's the first thing that you always want to check. Are you able to sell it? Because if you're not able to sell it, there's no point in actually going through and, and checking all the other parameters. Now, here's another one right here, a 40 pack of Friskies. And this one might be the 40 pack as well. So let's check it. 2920, 40 cans, yummy. 45.5 ounce cans, 5.5 ounce cans. And what is this? This is the homestyle turkey, saucy seafood, homestyle turkey, saucy 
seafood, and then chicken and turkey casserole and ocean whitefish dinner. Chicken and turkey casserole, ocean whitefish dinner. So this is the same product, although this is out of stock on Walmart. Now that won't happen frequently, but it does happen every once in a while. So just move on to the next one. This one's Final Fantasy. I don't even know what number that is. I, I haven't done Roman numerals in a long time. I think that's, what is that, 16 maybe? So it's 100 bucks if you pre-order it on Walmart. I don't want to pre-order anything because things can change, so avoid that. But you'll notice that like you can move so much faster here because you're just looking at products and if they don't fit the parameters, then it's totally fine. You just move on to the next one. And all you really need to make a few hundred bucks is like one or two good products and you can buy a few of them and then make good money. So this one right here is a good one. It's the Genie Lux 800 dimmable three pack selling for 20 bucks on Walmart. It's selling for $55 on Amazon roughly. So you can see here, let's just make sure the three pack 800 smart Lux. Alexa, Google Home, Alexa, Google Home. That is the same product. You always wanna be sure that it's the same. Now let's check to see if we can sell it. And we can sell it. So you always wanna check to make sure that you can sell it in new condition. So we can sell this product. So now let's check to make sure that it is profitable. So $20 here, let's grab the ASIN and we're gonna take it into the FBA calculator. If you need to know how to get the free FBA calculator, just go to Google, type in Amazon FBA calculator, and it should pop up where you can just sign in and it'll take you to this page right here where you can paste in the ASIN of the product. Paste in the ASIN of the product search it and now you'll see that what's the item price here well the item price is 49.24 there is no buy box on here because it is so cheap on walmart but if you click see all buying options the cheapest one here is 49.24 with 575 delivery which is roughly 55 dollars. i think it's 54.99 if you add that up correctly yes so we're going to say 54.99 we're going to assume that we're going to match the buy box or match the lowest price that's new in this case because it doesn't have a buy box and that's repricing so the item price is 54.99 on amazon what's the cost of goods, right? If we buy a couple, then we won't have shipping. So it's $20. Now I'm tax exempt on Walmart for PA, so I don't have to pay sales tax. That's another little caveat. I highly recommend that you get tax exempt and you get a reseller's permit. If you need to know how to get a reseller's permit, again, I've done a video on that. My cost per product here, we'll round up, we'll just say 20 bucks. So the cost of goods sold will be $20. And that's gonna tell us that our net profit here is gonna be almost $21 per unit. If we buy these for $20 on Walmart, we then sell them on Amazon. Now keep in mind as well, you're gonna need to ship them into FBA, which is going to cost you money as well. So if you're shipping a decent amount of products into FBA, I'd say five to 10 products or more, then you can estimate on average that each product is going to be a dollar for you. So if we take a dollar out of this, then it's really only going to be 1994 net profit. If we match the buy box, not only is that extremely profitable and a great net margin, but on top of that, there's plenty of wiggle room for us to drop our price and still be extremely profitable. So this looks like a pretty solid product with a net margin currently of about 38%. So this would be a good product that you'd want to buy and then ship into Amazon FBA and you'd make decent money. So it looks like we found another one really fast. So it's this Fiskars 41, 49 inch extendable handle. Fiskars steel shovel, 41 to 49 inches extendable. It's selling currently on Amazon for $70. On Walmart, it's going for 32. So the first thing we wanna do is see if we can sell it and we can sell this in new condition. It even has a really low sales rank, which is exciting. If we come back to Amazon, we make sure that this is selling well and it is all the different variations of it are selling well. The specific ASIN right here that we want is selling well as well. So it's about 127 daily sales. So now if we were to buy this for $32 and we take this into the revenue calculator, search another product, paste this in there. And so if the item price on Amazon is $69.99 and we buy this on Walmart for $32, keep in mind something like this might be a little bit more expensive to ship into FBA. So we'll estimate $2. So we'll say miscellaneous cost of $2 just to account for the shipping. So if we buy this for $32, we assume that every single unit we ship into FBA is roughly $2. We sell it and match the buy box price or match the lowest new price on Amazon since there is no buy box on this listing for $69.99. Then each unit we'd make $11.09 in profit, which is a 15.84% profit margin. That still gives us a little bit of wiggle room as well in case we dropped our price. So let's say somebody dropped their price. We had to match the buy box price at $65.99. Well, we'd still make $7.69 per unit and we're only spending $32 per unit. So it would be 11.65% net margin on on each purchase. So this is how you use Source Mogul, guys. I highly recommend that you look into it. It's not just gonna help you compare products on Walmart to Amazon. There's literally hundreds of retailers here, as you can see. You have Chewy, you have GameStop, you have Ulta, Gardeners, Entertainment Earth, Costco, 
Dick's Sporting Goods. You get the picture, all right? So obviously to recap, the first thing that you're gonna want is Source Mogul. It's gonna help you compare super quickly. You're also gonna wanna potentially get Jungle Scout. Both of those will be linked in the description. Source Mogul, there's a completely free trial if you wanna try it. You're also gonna wanna use the free revenue calculator in Seller Central. You're also, once your units get shipped into FBA, you're gonna wanna reprice them again. You can do that completely free in Seller Central. Just go to pricing, automate pricing, and set it up very easily. Also, online seller add-on is something that we didn't really explore too much, but when you're on every single listing, if you just click the online seller add-on, it's gonna tell you how many other sellers are selling that variation. Clearly, there's only one other seller with a quantity of five. You're also gonna want Jungle Scout, so again, you can see the daily sales and monthly sales, like I said. You're also gonna wanna ship your units into FBA, and you're gonna also wanna use a cashback portal of some kind and potentially cashback credit cards of some kind. So I highly recommend Rakuten. If you want Rakuten, again, there's a promo linked at the bottom of the description. I think it's like a free 25 or free $30 if you sign up through my link, and obviously I get that as well. So it helps both of us. But that's how you find profitable online arbitrage products